Shalom. First and foremost, give our honor and glory and praise unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me the truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and are pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom. To the Akiam and to the Akwaf, that'll be you brothers and sisters, Adawan Ratiza, that is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. To feed the lambs of Yahweh Wah. Yahweh Shai as commanded. And this lesson I'm going to be going into um, is all of the spirit, all through the spirit, you know, whatever the spirit allows, that, that will I speak upon. But um, it's really going to be on uh, giving you warning, man, you know. I came to the park. Um, I just did two videos earlier at the crib. The spirit is on me to come to the park, you know. So I came over here um, at the park, and um, yeah, to the spirit, um, I'm gonna go into a lesson on warning you, man. You see? Um, so, uh, you know, the Lord said, um, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, I hear the words of my mouth and give them warning from me. Okay? That's the book of um, Ezekiel, chapter 3. And verse 17 so yeah you so-called um, Negroes Latinos and Native Americans so-called whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham Isaac and Jacob you are the Israelites man and salvation is open up unto you only if you would take heed unto the word you see now we know a portion is gonna get it 33.3 which is the elect predestinated from the foundation of the world and two thirds of our own people, Israelites man they're going to die to death because they don't want to repent whether it be by the sword whether it be by famine you starve to death okay, whether it be by pestilence or whether it be by the ICBM missiles man, the lake of fire you see there is judgments, there are consequences for not adhering to not uh, being obedient to the words of the Lord. And that's why we're here to warn you because at the end of the day, the Lord is the king of terrors. And the scriptures say, um, knowing the terror of the Lord, uh, we persuade men. Okay? I think that's uh, 2 Corinthians, the 5th chapter and the uh, 11th verse. As a matter of fact, let me go to that real quick. Let me let, let me go to it. Pull it up. Um, this is the book of Second Second Corinthians, the fifth chapter. Khan and the eleventh verse, and it says, "Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men." We are made manifest unto the Most High, and trust also are made manifest in your conscience. You see? But we know a lot of our people, a lot of them, their, 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 uh, their conscience are seared with a hot iron, man. You know? No matter what you do, no matter what you say to them, they just ain't going to get it. Because they are most rebellious houses. The scripture speaks about our people being a stiff neck set of people. The Lord say, Baruch chapter 2 and verse 3, For I know they would not hear me, 
for it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves. You see, so a lot of our people fall under that rebellious house, man. They just don't want to seek the Lord. But for those of you who are not here to the words of the Lord, okay, follow the, follow the, the, the righteous path, man. Look for the old way, as the scriptures say. You see? Repent and seek the Lord, man. This is, this is your warning. While you are at liberty to do so, while you are in this great spirit, while you have liberty to do so, seek the Lord. There is such thing called the famine of the word. It's a time where, it's a time where uh, the the prophets, the men of the Lord, wouldn't be able to um, go out and teach you. Okay, when that time comes, when once the elect are sealed, as the scriptures speak about uh, Revelation the seventh chapter. When that happened, the angels that are holding back the four winds, holding back the destruction, they're gonna, the, the Most High is going to give them that okay to let loose, man. You know? And your time of seeking the Lord going to be over. It's just going to be judgment because you didn't seek the Lord while you had liberty to do so. The scriptures tell you how the word of the Lord is precious, man. You see? Scriptures tell you how the word of the Lord is precious. Um, I was going for a scripture just now, and um, I was still speaking. It kind of eluded me. Uh, what I was thinking of. thinking of a scripture to go to this now, but I was still speaking. I kind of lose my uh, train of thought. But like I say, the point being is, we're here to warn you, man. Okay? Uh, Rawai. In the Hebrew, is Rawai. Warn. Warning. Or alarm. Okay? Um, uh, Shapar. Uh, trumpet you know alarm warning you know trumpet blow that trumpet man you see well why shapar okay alarm or warning shapar trumpet you see let's get that scripture let's go to the book of um what's that uh Lord well, willing, that scripture I was thinking of come back to me. Um, let's get a what's that? A, let's go here to um, First Corinthians, First Corinthians, the fourteen chapter. Right. So in in, in ancient days. You know we had we had the um, we had like the high high towers where you know if 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 any if any uh, any persons you know not of your kindred or of your of your kingdom outside of your kingdom would come to try to <clears throat> besiege the city or the town you know we had watchmen's. You know, and that watchman had to be alert. Couldn't be, couldn't be falling asleep on the job. It, it, it was his job to blow the trumpet to warn the people. And the same thing is today, the men of the law, the prophets. That's what we're doing. Okay, I came out to this park today, to 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 the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Shai, to put up, you know, to make a video or epistle to continue to warn the flock. You know. Yahweh Shai said to feed the sheep, man. This is for you to get understanding that you're being warned of the impending dangers that are set before you in the times to come. Uh, 2 Timothy verse 3 and 1 says, And this know also that in the latter days perilous times shall come. You go into the word perilous, it means dangerous. Okay? Hard to do, fierce, savage. This is the time that's uh, going to befall the earth. You see, the hour of temptation. All of these things are coming. Jacob's trouble. So we are warning you to prepare yourself. Seek the Lord and look for the hedge of protection of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. 
Because at the end of the day, mercy and wrath come of him. He's the one who's bringing it. He's the one who's bringing uh, 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 the evils, man. Okay? Scriptures tell you that. Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light. I create darkness. Okay? Roughly paraphrase, and I, the Lord, do all these things. Isaiah 45 and 7. You see, but uh, let's, let's read this. Uh, this is... um. 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 8 it says for if the trumpet give an uncertain sound so the person who's who's tasked with the job of blowing the trumpet you see he got to blow that trumpet the right way it's like it's like making a song you can't be off key you got to be on rhythm you see for if the trumpet give an uncertain sound and and, and this 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 uh, truth is likened unto a song man it tells you that you see in, uh, revelation the 14 chapter Okay, also Revelation the 15th chapter. This, 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 also in the Psalms. You see, this, this, this truth is likened unto a song, man. You see, so 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse uh, 8. You got to know how to, to sing that song. It says, For if the trumpet give an uncertain sound, who shall prepare himself to battle? Yeah, if the trumpet blowing off key and blowing the wrong signal, blowing the wrong sound, the people ain't going to be at full attention because if you're blowing a party song, when you're supposed to be blowing standard attention like uh, a ray of battle, get ready for war. You know, the, the, the trumpet blows certain sound for different reasons. So you have to know the tunes and the sound to blow, to warn the people of what is coming, whether uh, a, a dignitary is coming, whether uh, getting ready for a feast or festival, or whether... Uh, somebody, the enemy is trying to besiege the city and you got to blow a certain specific tune to get ready, okay, get prepared for battle, you see so it says, for if the for, uh, First Corinthians chapter 14 and 8 again, it says, for if the trumpet give an uncertain sound who shall prepare himself to the battle so likewise ye except ye utter by the tongue words easy to be understood how shall it be known what is spoken, you see you got to break it down. It says, for ye shall speak into the air. All right? There are, there are, it may be so many kinds of voices in the world, and none of them is without signification. Right? You got you to gotta specify. You see? You got to specify the sound that you're making, man. Therefore, if, if I know not the meaning of the voice, I shall be unto him that speaketh, a barbarian and he that speaketh shall be a barbarian unto me even so ye for as much as ye are zealous of spiritual gifts seek that ye may excel to the edifying of the church okay so you gotta you gotta blow that sound man to be easily identified to be easily distinguished so the the people that you're warning they could discern that right away it's imperative especially if it's a battle you know what i'm saying because you might not have time the enemy is about to besiege you you got to blow that, that 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 trumpet okay give that alarm warning blow that trumpet okay well why should pa all right in the hebrew you gotta you gotta you gotta make that sound distinctive man all right warn the people against the impending dangers and that's what we do as the prophets as the men of the lord having the secrets and the mind of the lord the scriptures say surely the lord will do nothing but he reveal his secrets unto his servants the prophets amos 3 and verse 7 also the scripture speaks about how we have the mind of a mashiach man okay you see scripture speaks about having an unction you know the men of the lord having an unction man you have an unction, for you know all things. You see? Um, so we 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 here to warn you, man. You know? Speaking of um uh warning you, let's get um let's go to the book of uh let's get Isaiah. Okay. So we lift we, we have to lift up our voice man and, and spare you and spare you not okay 
not spare your feelings. All right, this is um, Isaiah. Isaiah, let's get Isaiah 58 and 1. This is Isaiah 58 and 1. It says, Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. Okay, Who, who's the house of Jacob? You Israelites, man. Jacob's name was later turned to Israel. Okay, Jacob is the progenitor, the patriarch of the 12 tribes of Israel. Thus, we are the Israelites, man. So, the house of Jacob, man. All right? And in these latter times, um, the, 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 uh, the house of David is being raised up through the Spirit. You see? So, right now, we out here uh, for the elect, man, at this time. You see, to give warning to those of you who would be of the elect, who's going to get this word. You know, the warning is sent out to repent. Acts 3 and 19, repent ye therefore and be converted. Okay. All right. So your sins can be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. You know, you got to repent, man. You see, turn back to the Lord, seek him. Okay, that's why we are here to give you warning. Okay, um, this is the book of this is the book of Isaiah 62 and verse 6. It says, "I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace." Right, we're not gonna spare your feelings, man. We ain't gonna hold our peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silent. You see, keep not silent, man. You see, so um, I'm having trouble with this camera. Uh, it cut off on me uh, twice for space uh, some reason when I when I record using the screen uh, it records longer but when I record directly from video I almost like it take up way more space but um I'm have to end this video uh, short but uh, Lord willing you were edified uh, the point is um, we, we were sent on to you to give you warning man okay for you to turn back to the Lord and repent Okay, and seek him before the great and terrible day, man, of, uh, of judgment, man, and, and the return of our Lord. All right, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he's near. The Lord will abundantly pardon, man. So don't weigh yourself down with your sins, as the scriptures say. Okay, see what he would do with you. Okay, uh, Proverbs chapter, uh, Salakia, Tobit chapter 13 and verse 6 says, see what, see what he would do with you, man. Okay, pray to the Lord. Scripture tell you how we can never go far enough. But turn on to him with your whole heart, man, and worship him in truth and in sincerity. All right? So I'm going to end it there, Lord. Will you edify it? On to the next one. Shalom.